Hello my friends, how are you today? So today I'll be doing a video explaining how to use an Android phone and a DSLR camera with an ACMI video capture card. So this video capture card, as you remember, I did a video about a month ago explaining how to connect my DSLR camera to be able to use, to be able to do these types of videos for my YouTube channel. Now, I'll put a description in the com in the I'll put a link in the description below so you can see that video if you haven't seen it. Now, I was asked in the comment sections of that video to ex to test how to use that DSLR camera with the Android phone using a USB camera app on the Play Store and an OTG cable adapter to be able to do that connection and display the video and be able to record on the Android. Now let's see how that connection is made. Okay, let's take a look at what we have here. We have our DSLR camera, which is a Nikon 3400 connected to our Android S20 Ultra through the HDMI video capture card. In our input, we have our HDMI to the HDMI mini. And in the output to the Android, we have a OTG adapter. Now we're gonna test the video and sound from the Android phone. So I'm gonna switch the recording to my Android phone right now. So right now I'm currently recording myself on the Android phone using the connection that I mentioned previously in the video. And right now I was moving my hands up and down. As you can see, I don't, there's no lag here. And you can see it looks, you can see how it looks and this is how it sounds. So we're back here using our microphone, DSLR camera, and our laptop as the display. So I just want to explain that when I was using the Android, the microphone I was using was the microphone of the Android and not the USB device, which was the camera. When I tried to use the HDMI video capture card audio, the audio was laggy, a little bit of slow motion and it just didn't sound right. So I just used the Android microphones and the settings that I use, I'm gonna pop them up right here. And the most important ones are enable the microphone on for the Android, turn off the UVC audio input because like I told you, it was in slow motion and enable audio input, audio input for the EC cap, which will allow you to hear the microphone on, which will allow you to hear the microphone from the phone. And that was how the video was recorded using that audio settings. You can toggle around with those. I'm not an expert in any of those. I was just testing it out, see how it sounds, how it looked. And thank you for watching the video. Please let me know any more information you want or any feedbacks that you wanna give me. And if you have any other questions, just let me know down in the comment section, like subscribe, and I'm here to help you guys out and just let me know. Before I go, I want to give out a special thanks and shout out to my friends, Khalil Fonseca and Carlos Ruben for lending me the phone, which was the Android and the OTG adapter. So thank you. Much love to you guys. See you later.